Hey guys, so in this video I want to tell you about the sacrifices I had to make in engineering school and I want to tell you about the dark side of engineering that not many people usually speak about. Usually people just complain about like assignments and all oh, professors like have accents and things of that nature. But I want to talk to you about something that's a bit more real and I want to walk you through year by year throughout all four years of my bachelor's in electrical engineering and the sacrifices I had to make each one of these years and the results that I got from making these sacrifices. Now in the long term, these sacrifices definitely did pay off. I mean, fast forward a few years later, I did few internships at NASA, I worked at MIT, I got a PhD, I got hired as a professor at Xavier University, I got to work on all sorts of cool things, which I basically share on this YouTube channel. So I'm definitely glad that I made those sacrifices, but it was definitely very painful at the time. So let's start with my freshman year, my first year in college. So the year was 2014 and I had just arrived at the University of Buffalo campus where I was expecting to figure out my life. You know, I had chosen to go to college and I knew that over the next four years, I was supposed to pick a major and graduate and go do something with my life. And I took that idea very seriously. I was not just gonna leave my career or the rest of my life to chance. And I was pretty hardcore about what I wanted to do for a major. So the sacrifices in my freshman year were the most intense. And basically I spent every hour, maybe even every minute awake. I'm not even even exaggerating of that freshman year trying to learn or trying to answer the question what am I gonna do with my life what am I gonna major in and I made a lot of sacrifices I mean I think my freshman year I went to only one party in the first week and that's it I didn't go out at all the entire year I didn't go to any football games I didn't go to any basketball games and at the time I had gone to University of Buffalo with a lot of my friends from high school and my friends from high school would always be like oh just come to the party or come whatever and I was very hardcore about that I remember Friday nights I would be in the library every single Friday Friday night and my friends would be out partying and drinking and I'd be like basically in the library like either doing physics homework or math homework or trying to figure out what am I going to do with my life. One concept I understood very early on is the idea of like delayed gratification or like long term thinking. Like if you enjoy right now so much, like the long term is probably going to suck. And if you like go through a lot of pain in the present, long term is probably going to be easy. Obviously, that's not always the case. There's some caveats there. But yeah, freshman year was no parties, no football games, none of that stuff. Not much of the college experience stuff. And I will say that I did have a few friends that I did hang out with. Um, and I did meet a few people who were living with me in the dorm and I just spent time with them and I would go get food with them. I had a really cool roommate at the time as well. So I would definitely not go into like complete solitude or isolation. I would definitely not do that. But I would say like the sacrifices I made were, okay, I have a few friends over here that I'm going to hang out with and a few friends that I'm going to study with and figure things out with. But I basically said no to everything else, which was very hard to do. If you go to college in the United States and it's freshman year and everyone's going out and everyone's doing all these fun things and you're out in the library on a Friday night doing work, I'm going to tell you that's not fun, but I'm very glad I did it. So thank you, 17 year old Ali for making that sacrifice so I can get to make this video right now. All right. So sophomore year, I kind of eased up the hardness on the sacrifices a bit. Sophomore year, I decided to be a bit more chill, to go out more, to attend more events, to go meet more people. And I had finished my freshman year. I think my freshman spring, I had like a 3.94 GPA and I was just really focused on grades, but I was pretty burnt out and I was pretty like dead at that point. Sophomore year, I kind of said, screw it. And I think sophomore fall was like my lowest GPA. I think that semester I had like a 3.4 or 3.5, 3.4 GPA. And that I was just so burnt out and I just hated college and, and I just I just hated studying and whatnot. And I was still trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and whatnot. I started to like go meet more people, started to go more events with my friends, like go bowling, go do things like that. And that did improve the situation, but that only was because I did all the hard work and sacrifices in my freshman year. However, I still sacrificed a ton. My entire sophomore year and junior year, I didn't go to a single party. And again, I was either working, figuring out what to work on, going to labs, getting involved in experiences, whatnot, or I was hanging out with my friends or like I was spending time with my friends. We'd sometimes go do something fun again, like bowling or whatever. But then at the end of my sophomore year, something crazy happened, which is I joined a laboratory of students that were building a small satellite. And that just changed my life forever because ever since that day, I stayed in, in college that summer and I worked on that project. And then in my entire junior year, I was basically working like 30, 40 hours on that thing. And even though in the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing. I was not very good at it. I was spending most of my time just figuring out what is going on. A lot of my hours were inefficient. I was basically putting every waking hour, either working in the CubeSat lab, learning things about the CubeSat or like space in general outside or going to class and taking exams, doing assignments, all that stuff. Junior year, 
here was again like very very intense in terms of sacrifices again not a single party not a single football game none of that stuff and i had one friend at the time in my junior year who him and i would obsess over the stuff we were doing we would obsess over the engineering classes we were taking we would teach other each other stuff i was doing electrical engineering he was doing computer engineering i would just kind of meet up and teach each other what we're learning and there's a few other friends i had which again like all we focused on was learning and that's literally like all i thought about all of junior year so the good news is by junior year i was becoming a bit more interested in engineering i was becoming more obsessive about it and i just really wanted to learn and grow learn 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 and then by the end of my junior year again sacrifice paid off because i got a really nice prestigious internship at a space company in los angeles i basically went there for the summer and then finally in my senior year my fourth year i made the ultimate sacrifice which is my entire fall semester i didn't stay in college i went and i did my internship at nasa which was obviously an amazing decision but i actually did my college in only three and a half years because my senior year i only did the spring in my school so i missed out on an entire senior fall and usually in the united states like senior year is like usually very chill it's fun it's like where you make a lot of memories with your friends where you go and do all that stuff and i said screw that like i want to go work on cool technology and, and i and i basically went to nasa for an internship for the entire fall and i came back in the spring and the spring was pretty chill but that fall was again like very brutal sacrifice where i went in for an opportunity and i went to learn and i went to work on top of taking online classes so i could graduate on time while a lot of my friends back in college were again partying chilling enjoying senior year doing all that stuff so the theme was that like a lot of my friends i would still hang out with them once in a while and whatnot but i'm convinced that no one worked as hard as i did and no one had the work ethic that i did and no one had the focus that i did and even though like they all are very successful they all graduated they all got jobs they all did things of that nature i'm very happy with the outcome i've gotten because i just feel like i learned more and i experienced more but on the other hand i sacrificed some of the more fun and more, like uh, things that people usually want to experience in college like all the parties and whatnot and things of that nature and me personally i didn't care about any of that i was just hyper focused on learning so if you are someone studying engineering right now and you're going through hell and you're going through the fire like that's okay sacrifices have to be made but just be smart about your sacrifices if you're gonna not go do something fun you better do something productive the worst thing you can do is just like spend all day on your phone or like just procrastinating or wasting time like please don't do that like you either should go have fun or you should go work hard and learn or try to do something like one or the other or like relax and just do nothing but like not be on your phone like that's the only advice i have is it's okay to relax and it's okay to have fun but when i talk about sacrifices in order like if you're not going to do something fun if you're not going to party if you're not going to go out with your friends if you're not going to do none of that you better be focused you better be working you better be making progress on something otherwise you're just missing out on fun experiences for no reason now there's a reason i made those sacrifices and that's because engineering school was brutal engineering was probably one of the hardest things i've ever done and there's a lot of reasons like why it's hard and you might want to resonate with some some of these reasons I actually made a separate video on why engineering school is brutal and some of the things you have to go through some of that pain and fire you have to go through so you should go ahead and watch that you're gonna like this video a lot i guarantee you peace love